Hello, I'm John Cotter, and I'm here to talk to you about winning in a faster and faster moving world. A world where more threats are coming at us from all kinds of different unpredictable directions, but also in which there are more windows of opportunity opening and closing faster than ever. I am convinced that we've crossed a line in which the old methods that we've used to deal with this no longer work. And I want to talk to you briefly about what seems to work in this faster and faster moving world. To understand this, I found you need to understand how organizations naturally evolve over time and how that has gotten us to where we are now. All organizations start with a, a structure that kind of looks like a dynamic uh, solar system or a molecule. Their advantage of is that they can be very, very fast, uh, very agile. They can run around existing competition. They start with a um, set of entrepreneurs. It doesn't matter if they're trying to make a new type of microchip or a new type of chocolate chip cookie. They attract people who work on various initiatives. It could be anything, uh, playing around with crazy ideas, talking to customers, uh, doing things with alloys. Um, and they can drop those initiatives and start new ones. If they're successful, though, they have to be able to make and ship a product or deliver a service. And as soon as that happens, you start to see growing something that we would recognize. It looks more like a hierarchy. It has jobs. It has processes. And if they continue to be successful, of course, it's that part that has to grow. And it grows. And for a brief time, you've got both both systems that tend to be hooked together well uh, because of the entrepreneurs who play a part in both uh, and sometimes the old timers that have jobs over at one side and they're still in that entrepreneurial system. But as successful as they are, you know what part grows and it grows. And at a certain point, it doesn't like the old entrepreneurial, unpredictable, whipping around system, and so it systematically eliminates it. And you end up with what we all know, a typical modern organization. Now, in a slow enough moving world, uh, that can work fine, and it does. But as the world starts to speed up, it doesn't. And so what smart people do is they augment it. They add uh, strategic planning committees. They hire strategic consultants. They put together interdepartmental task forces or project management organizations to first create and then to execute strategies. And if this is done well, it works up to a point. But as the world speeds up more and more, it doesn't. So they continue along this same path. It happens naturally. You add another committee. You add work streams. You add more strategy pieces. And after a while, all of this addition, addition, addition actually slows you down, and the whole thing starts to sink into the muck, which obviously does not win today. It raises the question of what could win today, and actually, you just saw it a minute ago. Now, let's rewind the tape. Okay, start there and go back. Go back some more. Now stop. There it is. Something that can be reliable and efficient now and can be fast and agile in helping you maneuver through this faster-moving environment. It creates more wealth, better products and services, a terrific place to work, and perhaps mo most importantly, profitable growth. That raises the logical question of can you create that and get those results? And the answer is yes, we've proven it. A set of processes and procedures and methods can take you from wherever you're at and you start growing that 
entrepreneurial piece from the center on out in an organic way. You keep the two pieces connected in a very solid way, and you end up with this mechanism that can be both uh, reliable, efficient, fast, and agile, and win today. Here's the bad news. How many organizations have succeeded in doing that? About 0.001%. Really, seriously. Here's the good news. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't. You can change. You can create what's needed. And when is the time to do that? No question. It's now. So, if you want to learn more, go here. And let's get on with it right now.